watching Let's Chat. Joining us this morning, Dr. Paul Hendricks, Senior Health Officer here in Hamilton County. Dr. Hendricks, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. Exciting developments here in Hamilton County as we continue to battle the COVID-19 virus. We have a new testing site opening up. Tell us about it. Well, this some weekend, as you, as you know, we've been doing testing at our site over on uh, Bonnie Shire Drive near Bonnie Oaks, Monday through Friday. But we're partnering with the um, state and the National Guard and with the Chattanooga Police Department with their help to open a site at the Riverfront Parkway and Missions um, site there on Riverfront Park Parkway near the Alstom plant. It's at 1620 Riverfront Parkway, and it'll be operated this the next two weekends um, there on Saturday and Sunday morning from 8.30 to 12.30. These sites will be doing the, the nasal testing or nasopharyngeal, actually, the testing of the Which, essentially, it's a, it's a high-tech Q-tip, essentially. Is this something folks are going to be able to take advantage of just driving through, or do they have to get out? Well, no, no, it will be done in the car. You'll be asked to keep your window up until ready for the actual thing, uh, actual sample to be taken. We're asking people, though, to make appointments because we can, uh, we'll be able to test uh, about 360 people each day. But wow. there's a lot of interest. It's been very popular this past weekend in other places. And we'll be asking people to call the health department scheduling number, which is 209 83 nine three and make an appointment for this weekend and then we will also be doing this again the next weekend so if we fill up this weekend we'll be offering appointments either at our bonnie shire location or next weekend how is the riverfront parkway location different from the bonnie shire drive site well it's it's a little more convenient to people who live in and around the um downtown area obviously it's it's a, I think it's about the same size. It's just um, we were looking for a different site to be more convenient to people who live closer into town. We will have the uh, opportunity for walk up if people live in the immediate area. So, and what is the what is the criteria for the testing? Do we need a doctor's referral to get in on Riverside Drive? No, at, really at both of our locations now, we're allowing self-referral, people who feel the need to get tested um, based on either concern that may, you may have been exposed or you may have symptoms or just for whatever reason. We're not really asking any reason for people to um, make an appointment. We do want to remind people now that that this is a, a, a point in time test. so. If you have some concern, you can be tested, but obviously if you get exposed a day or two later, or it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not able to get positive later. So we want people right. to be aware that this just will tell us what's going on on that day that you are tested. And that's a very important point to remember. Just because you test clear one day, it does not mean you are immune or you won't develop the virus itself a few days yeah. down the road. We only have a few seconds left, Dr. Hendricks. Tell us why testing is so important and who definitely should get the test. Well, it's clearly important for the individual. If they have some reason to be concerned they could have the virus, they can find out. Also, it's important for our community in trying to, to learn a sense of how much of the virus is out there. So, uh, you know, obviously we're opening up the testing to people without specific indications, so we will learn more about that. Ultimately, um, though, it's really important for us to know who's got the virus and then we can reach out to their contacts and, and let them know that they've been exposed so they can quarantine and stay in place. And the ultimate goal here is obviously to contain the spread of this virus and to right. defeat it. Final question, Dr. Hendricks. Do you feel better about where we stand overall as a community right now, today, than you did one week, 10 days ago? Yes, I, I do. I think people are taking this seriously, and that's encouraging to me. We just need to continue to remember that the virus is out there, that, that our efforts are what's going to defeat it. Um, 
and that, that following the recommendations we've been making about uh, you know avoiding contact, washing your hands, covering your face when you're out and about, those sorts of things right. seem to be helping and will continue to help. Dr. Paul Hendricks, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to checking in with you again coming up here in just a few days. If you want more information on the Hamilton County Helpline that has been set up specifically devoted to COVID-19 questions and concerns, it is 423-209-8383. Again, 423-209-8383. Stay with us. We will be right back.